It was a homecoming to remember for C.J. McCaw. Now the Pelicans sweep into L.A. looking to widen the play-in gap. But returning megastars will prove to be a tough test in the City of Angels. It's a pivotal matchup in Hollywood as the Pels try to open up April by making fools of the Lakers. The Pelicans are soaring down the home stretch with the postseason in mind. Winners of five of the last seven and playing their best basketball of the season at the most important time. It's a game so big, it is a marquee event tonight near Hollywood. How about that, Pelicans and Lakers? C.J. McCollum has been on fire since becoming a Pelican, shining the brightest under the brightest of lights. And how about the always styling and profiling Brandon Ingram returning to La La Land after his highest scoring month of his career. And how about J.V. Valanchunas? One double-double away from 50 on the season as we catch it town to tip off next on Valley Sports. With six games to play, the magic number to clinch a play-in game is four. The Pelicans with a commanding two-game lead over both the Lakers and the Spurs. And a win tonight might be the final knockout punch for LeBron James and the Lakers. We welcome you in to Pelicans Live, presented by FanDuel Sportsbook. And guess what? This is not an April Fool's joke. Rick Renner in for Aaron Hardigan, an who joke. has the day <laughs> off. And I'm here with Mr. Entertainment, David Wesley. And David, what a way to start off the weekend. This is just an unbelievable game tonight. You can really sense the anticipation on both sides of the floor. Absolutely. And I, and I hope the Pelicans aren't looking at the, at the standings, because they still have work to do. And they need to look forward, not behind them. They, need, they can't take any nights off. And they got to come out here. And, and play their best basketball, whether LeBron plays or AD plays or whoever's out there, they got to come out focused and ready to play. Yeah, we'll talk about that in just a moment. Let's bring in the very talkative and the handsome Antonio Daniels handsome. who comes at us from Los Angeles. AD, you've been a part of many returns in your career to former cities that you played in. Was it anything like what C.J. McCollum went through in Portland the other night? I mean, that was pretty amazing. Yeah. It, it was amazing, um, and you see different uh, times and opportunities where guys return to their previous destinations, where they played a legitimate amount of time in their career. And I'm gonna be honest, and I'm not saying this with any bias whatsoever. I've never seen the standing ovation like that. CJ was a great player, very loved on the court and off the court there. Now looking at that game, it was interesting that the Pelicans were able to pull off the victory despite. No outside shooting in that game. They did it with unbelievable suffocating defense, David. And that's a big part of their identity is their defense. And they know when they play that kind of defense, they are going to give themselves a chance every single night. Sometimes it feels like you're shooting a basketball. Sometimes it feels like you're shooting a golf ball. Sometimes it feels like you're shooting a football. But with all that being said, your defense it – and your defensive effort must remain. And that's what kept the Pelicans in that game and eventually end up winning that game for the Pelicans. AD, what a huge matchup. This is the second matchup with the LA Lakers in less than a week now. The Pelicans in rarefied air where they could actually sweep the Pelicans in the season, which is pretty darn impressive. First time for that in four or five years. Uh, but looking back at that game on Sunday, New Orleans was able to overcome a 23-point deficit, one of the largest deficits they've ever done in franchise history. LeBron scores 39, he gets hurt, still not enough. We know that LeBron James will play tonight along with AD, the other AD. So AD, I gotta ask you, I know it's a very complicated question. What in the world has gone wrong with the Lakers this year as they're holding on now by a thread to make a play-in game? I, I don't, I'm gonna be honest with you, Rick. I don't, I don't think it's a complicated question. I don't think it's a complicated question. The NBA is about chemistry, camaraderie, and fit. That's it. It's not about the names on the back of the jerseys. It must be April Fool's Day. You guys are agreeing. Oh, we agree. We think we think the game a lot alike. Oh, we life. always agree. <laughs> yeah. As I say, we always agree. <laughs> AD, appreciate it. Great stuff. We'll look forward to your call with Joel Myers in just moments here at the bottom of the hour. Let's take a break here on Pelicans Live, presented by FanDuel Sportsbook. The one and only Jen Hale will join us next. We already knew it. But now the Hall of Fame makes it official. The great Swin Cash is basketball immortality we discuss next. It's going to be a good one. The Pelicans are ready to withstand the emotional punch. They've talked about it. Can't wait for this one to unfold.
Neither can we. Thank you, Jen. Was there any doubt that Swin would be going into the Hall of Fame? Awesome college player at UConn, two-time champion, 39-0 season there. Inaugural class uh, with the Huskies of Honor there at UConn, their Hall of Fame. Three-time WNBA champ, two-time All-Star MVP, two Olympic gold. She's an activist, unbelievable person. We could probably do a three-hour show on her, and it wouldn't be boring. It, it wouldn't be. And, uh, you know, I, I had the opportunity. I used to go to all the Sting games. Um, and, and I've seen Swim play, uh, but I haven't seen her in a long time on the court. So I went back, uh, you know, a few weeks ago and I, and I looked her up, which we, we had her on uh, pregame. So I was, you know, I was looking at some of her. She could flat out ball and one of the nicest people and the things that she does for women, does for the WNBA, continues to do in the NBA, continue to, to blaze that trail for other women to do it. That, that's who she is, and, and, and Hall of Fame, yeah, there, maybe she deserves something bigger than that, but she, she deserves being in the Hall of Fame. And I love the fact that she's going in with this unbelievable class. So yeah. You're going in with one of the most decorated players internationally in Manu Ginobili from the San Antonio Spurs. Uh, Bob Huggins, of course, coached at Cincinnati and currently at West Virginia. And then Tim Hardaway of the Miami Heat. It's always fun to see who they go in with, and I think it's a special class for her to go in. Yeah, some bad boys. Ma Manu, whoo! Yeah. I did not like guarding him. I did not <laughs> like guarding him. I did uh, Tim Hardaway either. Didn't yeah. like guarding him either. So, it's, it's nice to see those guys uh, get that nod and, and get that opportunity. All right, it's time now to be the big baller here on Bally Sports. I know you think it's him. No, yes. it could be you because you could win up to $250,000. All you have to do is be 21 years old to play. Scan the QR code on your screen or visit ballysports.com slash win. Select the winners of six games from Sunday and the final scoring margin. Get your picks in before Sunday. Just for fun, we're going to help you out with our picks. If David was a genius, at this, he wouldn't be working with he, me right now. He'd be on a beach somewhere. So whatever David picks, pick the opposite. Tell me about your picks exactly. there, buddy. Exactly. Uh, my, my picks are just simply, um, uh, it's a guess. And <laughs> uh, picking NBA spreads uh, is, is, is difficult. If I could do it, I'd probably be working in Vegas somewhere. So, you know, I, 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 Please don't copy this. <laughs> Go with your own thought. This could be completely wrong. By the way, my picks are gold. Philadelphia, that's the second game of a back-to-back. -back. I like Cleveland in that one. Orlando and Houston, worst teams in the league, take the other teams. Miami, Toronto, spicy. Miami going for that number one seed. Yep. And OKC, of course, tanking again with Shea Gilgis Alexander out for the rest of the year. So go with Phoenix by 20. Don't forget, ValleySports.com slash win. Pick the six games before Sunday with the scoring margin. And maybe you could win $250,000. Got to be 21 or older. Good luck. Break time on Pelicans Live, presented by FanDuel Sportsbook. Tip off for the Pelicans and the Lakers right around the corner. The top storylines to bird watch when we come back. Break up the New Orleans Pelicans. Sixth win in the last eight games to solidify a play-in spot. Very physical game for LeBron James and company. Jackson Hayes with authority. Wow, this is basically a knockout punch. Nothing easy for LeBron. 77 points in the last two games against the Pelicans and two losses. And how about Brandon Ingram? Yeah, 29 points in this one. LeBron had a chance to tie it with three or four fakes there, but couldn't even hit the rim. And the Pelicans are sitting pretty in that play-in postseason spot with five games to play. Willie Green is pumped. 114 to 111, your final score. And let's take a look at the up-to-the-minute standings in the wild, wild west. And wow, that magic number is shrinking very fast as the Pelicans are tasting it right now with five games to play. The Spurs are in a good spot over the Lakers right now. It looks like it's going to be the Pels and Spurs in the last two spots. We welcome you in to Pelicans Live. The postgame show, another victorious edition with me hosting. What? I might add. You're Rick trying Renner. to start some trouble. Look at you. I like in that. In for you watching Aaron Aaron? Hardigan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's not watching. But it's too late. It's past her bedtime. The great David Wesley here. And, man, what an impressive victory by the New Orleans Pelicans to beat the Lakers twice in less than a week was so much on the line. That's hard to do. You know the Lakers needed this game, but, you know, hats off to the, the Pelicans. Great win. Great win. Unreal. And you think about C.J. McCollum. I mean, this is his 10th 30-point game of the season. Eight of them have been with the Pelicans. 
he, he's been tremendous as a Pelican. I mean, he was always tremendous, but for him to come here, embrace the city, embrace his players. And then you think about Brandon Ingram. It was fun to listen to him talk to Jen Hale after this one. 29 points. He has averaged more points against the Lakers than any other opponent in his career. Obviously, there's a little something there. We saw the emotional night the other night with C.J. McCollum against Portland. Not that case against the Lakers, but boy, he does give it to the Lakers and make them pay for that mistake of trading him away. And I respond to that, of course he does. <laughs> of course he does. I, I mean, when, when, a, when a team trades you or you move on from a team, it doesn't have to be bad blood. But if there's any kind of bad blood, you definitely want to kick them every single time and B.I. does that. That's, you know, this, his high is against his, his old team and you expect him to. Some, some players seem like they don't want to play against their old team. B.I. does and B.I. shows up and shows out every single night. Perfect from the free throw line and he's getting there more, which is really nice because he's getting that respect now as one of the game's best scorers. There was a long, there's, there's some long stretches where he does not get foul calls like he should. I don't think we've seen this kind of emotion from head coach Willie Green after no. a victory. He knows how big this one was tonight in La La Land. Let's hear from the happy head coach after this great win. You know, I think it started this morning um, in shoot around. We did a good por a portion of our shoot around in the dark. Um, they didn't turn the lights on. And, you know, we talked to our guys about it and we're like, look, we've all played with the street lights out before, so let's get after it. But I think it motivated us. And, um, you know, it's just a resilient group coming in every day, working hard at it, and heck of a win. We'll take it. Pelicans make it six wins in the last eight games at the most important time, and they beat the Lakers twice in less than a week. And how about the coaching job that Willie Green has done this year? You think about where this team was at the beginning of the year and where it is now. This is one heck of a coaching job. Yeah, I mean, you think about it. You, you take this team and you got, you know, you're, you're looking at B.I. and Zion and, and J.V., and you're saying, okay, this is what I'm working with. This is what I'm coming in. I'm, I'm, I'm scheming things for these guys. Then no Zion the whole year. You start out 1-12, and, and for some reason, he was positive, positive, positive. There's always a little drama when you take on LeBron James, and we felt that tonight in this toe-to-toe -to -toe battle. Jackson Hayes had a little fun with him early on. Now, LeBron with the cheap elbow here early on, but Jackson would get some payback. And, and, and you like this. Again, you have a young team that you don't want to – don't back down. I don't care who that is. I don't care – if that's LeBron or the 15th guy on the, on the floor, you want your guys to step up. Those are playoff situations, and he handled it like a playoff. You got me, I got you back. And I enjoyed the theater with Russell Westbrook and the bench and Jose oh, Alvarado. I mean, that's just Russell I mean, Westbrook. Right. But, 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 you know, you look at LeBron, too. I mean, he's a good actor. He'll give you some theater. Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, Brandon yeah. Ingram barely touches him, touches the ball. He goes down like someone shot, shot him. him. Yes, and, you know? and Westbrook hadn't hit a shot all night. I think he was one of seven. He hits two threes, and he starts barking at the bench. You're like... <laughs> Dude, you just started playing. Why, why are you so animated now? <laughs> Anthony Davis, 23 points, 12 rebounds, 6 assists in this one. This is the first time he's ever lost to the Pelicans. He was 5-0 and coming into this game. First game for him in 18 games. Uh, there was some rust there, uh, but the Pelicans did a nice job on you, him. You know, I was talking about guys, sometimes they don't want to play against their old team. AD seems like he doesn't play a lot of the games when he, when he plays against the Pelicans. And so... Uh, but tonight, after being out since February 18th, I believe it was, like he never missed a beat. I mean, he, you know, this jump shot was working for the most part. He was able to score the ball. He was efficient. Um, he got to the free throw line. He still had his 12 rebounds. So a double-double right out the gate. They need him on the floor uh, if they plan to do anything in way of trying to catch back up to uh, either the Spurs or, or the Pelicans. Um, but I, I don't know. I, he, he, tremendous talented guys out there. Westbrook looks like he doesn't belong at all, which is weird. <laughs> which is weird. This is a triple double king. Yeah. And it looks like sometimes 
it's his first time handling a basketball. That that chemistry is just not there. Yeah, you look at it, you think the Lakers, I mean, you might put a knife in them right now. they got to finish with the Nuggets mm. at Phoenix, Golden State, OKC, and Denver again. Yeah. And, and they got to hope the Spurs lose. I mean, if they have a chance, who have the tiebreaker against them, they could be over. And, and that's why you like where the Pelicans are. You, you don't have to hope somebody else loses. You don't have to hope, you know, somebody's playing bad. All you have to do is handle your own business and, and – uh, I think the Lakers are in big trouble. I think the Spurs will be that 10th place spot. And with that schedule, no chance. Let's take a time out here on Pelicans Live, brought to you by your Toyota dealers. More reaction from the City of Angels in a marquee matchup with the Lakers and Pels if you keep it where it is.